Hey guys, what's for dinner tonight? Well, it's in the 40s. It's relatively sunny. It's not raining or snowing. So I decided to break out the Dynaglow Signature Offset Smoker. And I'm going to make some chicken legs and some veggies. So it's, um, what is today? Today's December 12th. It's about 9 a.m. What I'm going to do is I love teriyaki chicken, so I'm going to smother these in teriyaki sauce marinade. And this came from a local supermarket. And it's actually not a bad marinade. So I'm going to start this off. marinate the heck out of it. I'm going to use the entire thing and how much is here. I've got six legs and this is uh, 12 and a quarter fluid ounces. And to this I'm going to add about a quarter bottle of spring water. And then I'm just going to let them absorb the uh, the marinade probably until about two or three o'clock this afternoon then I'm gonna fire up the smoker and the reason that I have it in this Dutch oven is I'm going to let them absorb this marinade for several hours minimally and then I'm gonna put them right on the grate in the Dynaglow and I'm gonna let them cook probably for an hour, maybe two. I'll flip them a few times and after that I'm gonna put them back in this Dutch oven, no lid, and I'm gonna put the Dutch oven in the smoker and that will finish the cooking process. So my favorite is chicken smoked in cherry wood and I only had a little bit left and it was kind of damp so I've got way too much smoke so I have to wait for this to burn down a bit before I put the chicken on the grate and yeah we have the veggies cooking over the top and because the wood is damp it's not really burning well and the temperature is pretty low at the moment it's about a hundred and forty degrees 130 maybe but that's okay because there's quite a bit of cherry wood in there and once this gets going it's going to um, reduce the smoke and increase the heat all right so we are just a tad over 200 degrees and we're going to, yeah, we still have quite a bit of smoke, so I may not leave the chicken open quite so long. Although I'm using the cherry wood, which I absolutely adore. In poultry, that is chicken, um, turkey, quail, and so on. Pheasant, oh my god. With um, cherry wood and pheasant, it is absolutely phenomenal. So I have six chicken legs. Um, that's two each, which kind of depresses me because, you know, I could eat all six. But um, now I'm going to put the marinade liquid in the top so that that gets warm. And I'm going to let this go at least an hour before I put the chicken back into the marinade liquid. I'll flip it a couple of times. I probably won't record that to save you the boredom. But um, yeah, this, uh, this should really be phenomenal. All right guys, sorry about the darkness, but the chicken legs have been in here about an hour and 10 minutes. And, yeah, that darn cherry wood was 
awfully wet. So I hope it doesn't make it too smoky, so to speak. But what I'm going to do now is take the, and I have rotated them a couple of times. You can see that they're really starting to look good. But I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them in the Dutch oven with the marinade liquid to finish the cooking. My wife loves smoked food, but she hates it when it tastes like you're chewing on a burnt log. And I guess I can't blame her. And this is really, really hot. So, I'm going to have to do a, um, what the heck was the name of that series? The uh, Kung Fu, where he picked up the red hot vessel and he burnt the dragons in his forearms. So I'm going to do that now to get this lower to the next... Yeah, that was hot and smoky. So we're going to let this cook up. And I'm going to rake the coals in the um, firebox to get this really hot. I want that liquid in the Dutch oven in here to be boiling. <clears throat> the veggies are... Kind of cold, actually. And it's because of this stupid... Cherry wood that's so damp, it's smoldering more than it's burning. So we're going to mix this up. And I really like my onions cooked well. The noodles, the elbow macaroni are already done in the house. I have my other little Dutch oven here, and I have corn, and peas, and a red onion. About four tablespoons of olive oil, garlic, just a tinge of Himalayan pink salt. Alright y'all, it's about 7 p.m. Chicken has been in the other Dutch oven, it's about... 220 degrees so we should be good to go I'm gonna plate this up and I'll show you what it looks like so here's the finished results the teriyaki chicken on the Dynaglo signature series smoker the peas corn and um, red onion with the elbow macaroni I decided to throw some olives in it because I just love olives and it's all ready to go. So it's time to chow down. And you guys have a great night. And we'll talk soon. Take care now.